Hello everybody, this is TT95 and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. Okay. Fears to Fathom uh, Norwood Hitchhike. This game. Yeah, it's this game. Not this game. This game. 40 minutes. Wunderbar. Here's the Fathom, episode two. Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I was, I felt. I was a bit hesitant, right? about this for from for the interest for first at first but getting it out of my it getting it out may help it even if just a little bit you go over there I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I could get it, I get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled that at the idea of me going to inner state on the internet <laughs> on the interstate drives. But a plane ticket would no would have been too expensive. This convention I went to, I was at was went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 and a half hour, 12 hour drive. Dude, I would just stay on the interstate. It'd be a lot faster. What the fuck do you mean? Needs to be. Near halfway through, I realized I was low on gas. Really? Okay, Dad, I'm trying to drive here. I will text you back as soon as I get stopped for gas. Dad, stop fucking texting me, please. It's bad to text and drive. You might get into a wreck. Oh my god, there's a person standing there. Oh no. No, fuck that. Fuck that. There was a person and... Stop! What are you doing? Stop!
How do I... How do I... Fuck it. <laughs> this is my parking spot now. <laughs> my car's still on. Hey, can I get gas, please? Ma'am? Hi, can I get, uh, town on pump two? Even though I'm not parked on pump two? You headed out to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? Or Wood Valley road, I mean. Not a lot of people hurt head down there at this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. I am not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For, for about a century now, many people have been going mission down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say that Norway Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Thanks for the gas. Thank you. Is my car open? That too. No, it's still parked over there. Holly, mom. Uh, drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. I'm alright, Dad. You gotta do what you gotta do. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hot hitchhiker. Those people out there on the on the road out on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They ain't, just ain't. Thanks, bud. Thanks for the friendly advice. Hey! 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 Sir! 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 What the fuck did you do to my car? Sir! Sir! I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but could you pick up some dog food? Oh, fuck me. Alright, mom. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Dang, five dollars for this. That's a damn good price. Thanks. Now I need to, um... Get me car back to where it's supposed to be. So 
one. Last two. Okay. In a manara way, Baba. Just pump gas. I filled up the tank and I was off. On the road, you bleep. I can't read and drive at the same time. Every single one of them look the same. Mom, I can't talk to you right now. What? 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 What, what? What? What, what, what? What did that asshole do to my car? Hi, bud. You're really slow, aren't you? Don't mind me, I'm not a drunk driver, I just... And you're speeding off. I just... Can't really... Control the car... Using WASD! I think I'm doing a pretty good job though. Woohoo! Good thing there's no cars coming the other way. Here's the bridge. Very narrow bridge. Where did the road go? The fuck? Oh, oh no. Hi, car. That's weird. Hello, rabbit. It's weird.
won't let me move it any longer. What? Stop moving, you freaking weirdo. I'm trying to. I was. It's like, it's like I was. Like, I was in the wrong service. <sighs> would be lying, but I would make it feel like a cliche. But at the moment, I had no choice. Hmm. Just wait here. Even though the car is still technically running, you can hear it's running. Ten twenty three PM. Mm -hmm. How do we get back here? Saw a car nearby. Hey. Pure evil. My lights are on, but there's no light. <laughs> You just went right through that log, but I wish we could run. You're that girl from the gas station. Hi. Thanks so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think you can give me a ride? Where are you headed to? Just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Let me get my stuff. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for long. For too long. Thank you!
Oh, my bag stuff's already in there. Okay, let's go. Can I close this? No. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, now hop in quick. Okay, don't run me over, please. Thank you. You're really nice. <laughs> so, you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? Uh, I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Oh, sorry. And that piece of crap bro broke down on me. Jason. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. Why do you have two gear shifts? It's kind of weird. You're luck. You're really lucky. I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Hmm. It never broke down on me like that ever before. It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Seriously, you have two gear shifts. What is wrong with you? So, do you think about... What do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to everybody traveling down here. Zoom. Zoom. Left mouse button? Left. Left mouse button. Oh. So is it true? Sorry. So is it true? What, the monster? At least I've never seen. Let's see. I've never seen a monster for myself, but there are there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like a moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, they don't bother you. No, you don't be... You don't bother them, and you won't be bothered. Okay? Okay. You know, I'm sorry about being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best pe with people. I didn't even talk to you. <laughs> but it's okay. Seriously, two gear shifts. Why do you have two? That's what I'm focused on right now. <clears throat> 12 08 a.m. Ah! After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously, omin ominously before leaving. Thanks. All my stuff. Bye. 
The man was putting out the creepy vi creepiest vibe imaginable. Gal need a room t to sack up for the night? Hmm. Yeah. Board for single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about car. 90 Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. Good, I'll let Tommy know. Thank you. And one more, one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Leave. Thank you. I'm just gonna, just gonna take my, take my stuff. Take, okay. I'm gonna that. Okay. Is this spot number nine? Eight number nine? Eight number eleven? Ten? Nine. Okay. Okay. There's some more. Bad. Except the smell doesn't smell nice. Fuck! Hey. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room service. Here at Roadway Inn. The finest stop. Over in Norway. Norway. Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I'll make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Bye. Could have told me Tommy was in my room, you fucking asshole. Oh, shit, I forgot one. Shut the door. Fuck you. You really need to get me a soda. Well, I'll get you a fucking soda once I get the fuck. get this stuff over. Shut up. Had a word with Joe about the situation. You were not even over there. What is wrong with this? These people. Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. Go, I go get your car. I go get your car now. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need. Anything just as the front desk. We're we've been trying to get it fixed, but we're we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hehe. <laughs> but you have a good night. You too, bud. You you too you too, bud. Bitch. I'm gonna beat you there. I'm gonna beat you there. I'm gonna beat you there. Ha 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 ha. I can't see. <laughs> Freaking dog foods in my face. I was gonna say, didn't I shut my door? No, no, I didn't.
much. Okay, she said she wanted a soda, so I'm gonna go get her a soda. Getting your soda. They don't want it. Bitch, you said you wanted a soda! I can run faster now. Fuck yeah. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Couldn't help but shake something was wasn't right. And the feeling of tiredness overwhelm was overwhelming by my anxiety. Hot cup of coffee could help me. But I don't want coffee. I don't drink I only drink it on a very small occasion. So I'm getting a soda. I want a soda. <laughs> Even though it said, get a cup of coffee. I want a soda. I'm getting a soda. I was too long in cash for that. I'm too fucking bad. Ooh, lime drink. Ah, here we go. Energy soda. There we go. There's your, there's your caffeine. There. Okay. Back to bed. You're still gonna make me go over there and get the soda, aren't, or the coffee, aren't you? Energy drink, woman. Energy drink. Wait. You have a great night's sleep. Logical people would say, hey, do you have any coffee around here? Apparently. No logical per person would just go around because this wasn't here before. Wow, I take no money. No money. What what if I want French vanilla? Or hot chocolate? Or caf mocha? I want an espresso or a cappuccino. Cut. 
and zoom. We now I'm really slow. Controls are inverted. I think I'm doing a damn good job at it. Wee, that was a trip. was startled. S sedated. Not startled. I thought the phones didn't work. What the fuck? I didn't feel safe going out. I don't feel safe coming, going, staying in here. Fucking idiots right there. I don't want to. Fuck this. I'm going back to bed. Fuck. Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. Okay. Hi, Joe. Didn't I specify, specifically tell you not to wake anybody up? What? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. What? Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Co mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? No. We don't have a co no coffee machine here. What the fuck was that? It's right over there. Okay, okay. Here. I had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought I we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Can't run anymore. Hmm. Think I should have had freaking soda. Or an energy drink. Hmm. Where's it now? It, it was right. It was right here. Where is it now? Fuck. Go back to your room. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. Say so go back to your room now. Yes, sir. Should be some medication in your room that should offer some relief. Use some relief. Take the table by the TV. Thank you.
hurt. You didn't need it. Bullshit, you didn't need it. should do. Please open the door. I need help. I know you're in there.
please. No, 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 no. no. I know you're in there. <laughs> I forgot what I needed to do. I don't know if I should just stay in here or what. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear, I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Hey, fuck! To this day, I fi find it really weird that the manager interfered and 
inferred to not get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation to and let go of the situation. I believe that this town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trips again. I always take airplanes. Well, there you guys have it. There is Fears to Fathom Part 2. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will be playing the next one. Whenever it comes out. But I really ho hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below, anything in general. And this is T295, signing off. Bye, guys.